Hello guys, in this YouTube video, I'm going to be doing a different video from normal videos. I'm going to be doing a virtual box tutorial. Now, in this virtual box tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows NT 3.51. I believe that's the version. So first, you're going to get a virtual box, which you can install it uh, on your machine. And I already have it, as you can see. So the first uh, thing you want to do is download the... Uh, uh, the discs and ISO in the description, uh, it was provided by everything you can, uh, so go subscribe to him. So, you're going to click on new and name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Windows NT 3.51, just leave, uh, actually put the version as Windows 3.1 because there's no Windows NT uh, 3.51, so click on continue. Uh, I'm going to bump up the RAM to 64 megabytes. And click on and just create the virtual hard drive. Go to fix size, and uh, and uh, you're gonna want to save it in a machine folder. Oh, I'm just gonna save it in here. So just click on save. Uh, you can save this wherever you want. This is where your virtual machine uh, hard drive will be saved. Make sure you create a folder. So if you have lots of virtual machines like I do, so you don't wipe out any of your other virtual machines. So click on settings. Click on storage. Click on the uh, empty floppy, I believe, and then uh, insert disk one, and go to empty uh, ISO, and enter in the Windows NT 3.51 ISO file. Click on OK, and click on Start, and I'm just going to go in full screen here. So it says uh, you should enter in disk number two, so uh, go find that in the floppy controller, press enter. And it will load up here. All right, and once you're in here, click on enter. Uh, click on enter for the express setup. And now it wants disk number three. All right, now click enter once you've entered in disk number three. And it will load up here. All right, so it should be looking for the CD-ROM driver that should be happening right now. So it says found the CD-ROM driver and just wait for it to load here. Um, click on enter once you see this message. Click on enter for the CD-ROM driver. Click on C to continue the setup. And click on enter for the unpartitioned, unpartitioned space and go down to the NTFS file system. Uh, click on enter and it will check uh, your drive. So I'm gonna be back once it's done. All right, now uh, once it comes up with this message, you're gonna remove all the floppy disks, but keep in the ISO. Press enter to reboot and uh, it will automatically boot into Windows NT. And it will say or it'll pop up with this blue screen here. It's not the blue screen of death. And you will get into a GUI interface. So just enter in a name. And you can enter in a company name if you want to. Click on continue. Continue. Computer name. I'm going to name it NT Workstation 351. Oh, we can't add a one. All right, just click on continue. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to go to that. So just select your language, English United States. That's good. Continue. Uh, and it'll ask for a printer. Just click on continue. I guess just quick cancel on this one. Uh, click continue. And uh, you can leave this checked and unchecked and all that, but do whatever you want. Oops. So I'll be back once this is finished. It shouldn't take too long. All right, so it's just gonna load up some stuff here. And here, click on cancel here. And click on yes. Okay, and click on no. And you'll want to enter in a work group, just leave it at work group, that's good. And, okay, so you can enter in a password if you want, I don't want to, so just click on continue. Uh, click on okay. Now you're gonna enter in a username. Continue. And leave it on MSOS editor. And here's where you can change the time. Uh, you can change your time zone here. So I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, you can change your display settings, but I guess it's not gonna work on it. So I'll just click on okay. It, there's no driver installed, so it won't work. Uh, click on no for the emergency repairs and click on restart computer and click on enter for Windows NT 
And I'm gonna wait for it to load here. You'll get this blue screen while it loads up here. And it'll say uh, the type of the file system is fat. And it will load this thing up here. It will restart the machine again. Click on enter for Windows NT3. And as you can see, press control delete to basically what I did there is I just pressed on win your host machine and backspace that should do it. Uh, enter in your username and click on OK. Just click on OK for this error message. And Windows NT 3.51 has been successfully installed on your computer. But uh, to make this window bigger, I'm going to shut this down a minute. All right, so now you're going to go to skill factor in 200%. And this will make it so it'll, it's bigger on your screen, so it fills the entire screen. But uh, you might want to change this. Uh, so I'm just going to power it off again. Uh, you actually need to set it to 175, depending on your computer's screen resolution. Uh, so I'm just going to boot this here. And I'm going to change the scaling size to 175 percent and I'm gonna go to full screen and now you have successfully installed Windows NT and it is the correct <coughs> screen size and there you go so hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on how to install Windows NT 3.5 on a virtual box and I'll see you guys later bye